Hi art teachers! I have a really fun printmaking lesson to share with you today. I know your students are gonna love it. So let's get started. So before we get started, let's talk about our materials. I teamed up with ACMI for this lesson and they're the organization that certifies art products with these safety seals. You've probably noticed these on the back of your supplies. The AP stands for approved product and this means that it is non-toxic when used as intended. When a product has the AP seal, it can be used with students of all ages. The other seal that you might see on art supplies is the CL seal. This stands for cautionary label, which means this product is safe for students 12 and up when used properly. You can trust these seals because ACMI labeled products are tested by board certified toxicologists, which is really good to know when you're buying supplies for students or your own kids. Today we'll be making a soft cut linoleum print inspired by a pattern in nature, and we'll embellish our prints using traditional printmaking technique called chincole, where a lighter paper is adhered to a heavier paper during the printing process. This is one of my absolute favorite techniques because of the beautiful contrast it creates. So to get started, I have some soft cut linoleum. This stuff is often thick enough to carve on both sides, so I'm going to reuse this block that I have. Any size will do, but make sure you trace it onto your paper when you're designing so you know exactly how big to make your design. I want to do something where the design has bilateral symmetry, so I'm going to add a line here to guide me, and then I'm going to start drawing my natural form, which in this case will be an oak leaf. So with my design, I've decided to do a play on positive and negative space across this axis. So positive space is this space that I will leave on the block and not carve away, and that will eventually be, be covered in ink. And then the negative space is going to be the spaces that I carve away. So I just shaded a small part of my design just to get a sense of what it will look like. And next, I'm going to trace it with tracing paper and transfer it onto this side of the block. So I have my tracing paper over my design. While I'm tracing, I want to also just be aware of adding in some of the corners so I know how to line up my design. So I'm going to make sure I have that line. And then I like to just make sure that my corners of the outline are here as well, just so I can see what, how this lines up. And then I'm going to use a pencil that's a little bit softer, so a 2B or 4B, because you want some nice soft graphite to transfer onto the final design. So I'm going to keep tracing this, and I'll show you how to transfer it. So now I have my design traced out, now I'm going to turn it graphite side down, so face down onto my block. I can use those corners as guidelines and make sure that everything lines up pretty well and that the design is fitting onto the block. Then I'm going to use something hard like the edge of this marker to burnish this on. And you can see that it transfers quite clearly. So take your time, make sure you get every detail so that you know where to cart. So now I've transferred the design and it's on the block. So we can begin carving and I can use this as a guide. So I have my carving tool here and I'm gonna pay attention to carving the negative space on one side of the leaf and the positive space on the other side. So I love this soft cut, cut linoleum, it's so easy to use. So I'm gonna continue with that. So now I'm gonna make my chincole pieces and I'm gonna think about how these will layer on the block. 
I'm gonna be using just plain old tissue paper that I actually got this from the dollar store. So any tissue paper, you could even reuse old tissue paper from packages and presents, but you really wanna think about what shapes you can use that will highlight your design, maybe highlight the symmetry in your design. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and just start cutting shapes out, tracing and cutting shapes out of this tissue and I'm going to make more than one of each of the shapes just in case it gets a little messed up when I'm trying to put it on the print. This process is a bit fiddly and it takes a few goes to really get the hang of it. So having extra pieces, especially if it's a shape you really like, is really helpful and then you can just cut them all out at once and you have them all lined up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll see you in the next step. So now it's time to add spray adhesive to our tissue paper. This is challenging because they blow around a bit as you spray, but I was able to get it to work with some practice. Now for the fun part. I'm rolling out a two color blended slab here and you just wanna dunk your brayer in the ink and then roll out the ink. It should make a beautiful sticky sound. I hope you all enjoyed that little ASMR break. So now we're ready to print. Put the chincolet paper sticky side up on the inked block and then press it down with a baron. I'm just gonna keep going here and experimenting with different color combinations. It is a bit tricky getting the chincolet pieces on at first, but you will get the hang of it. So enjoy the process and trust the process. So here's how the finished prints came out and I have to say I'm pretty happy with them. I found that the ones that were most successful were the prints where the Shinko Lei contrasted with the background paper. Prints like this one were just not my favorite because you can't even tell I did the Shinko Lei technique here. So I really hope your students enjoy this lesson. Feel free to tag me on Instagram at Artful Ideas Classroom with photos of their finished prints. And I'm so grateful to partner with ACMI on this lesson and to learn more about their safety seals. Now you know what to look for when you're ordering your back to school supplies. I'm wishing you all a really great start to the new school year and I'll see you in the next video.